Greetings everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are we're back playing Genshin Impact. It's been a long time since I've played Genshin Impact, I made like I think two or three videos on it. Um, and that was just me playing through the beginning part, but that was like on a different account. So, we are back playing Genshin Impact, but I'm playing on my main account this time because... So recently, Fontaine came out. It's the new region of Genshin Impact, so that's where... That's where we're currently at. I sped ran through the, I sped ran through the game, trying to uh, you know, trying to get to Fontaine, and I just finished uh, the Sumeru uh, chapter. Uh, so let's get let's get right on with the um, with the quests and or like the the next chapter, chapter four, and yeah, we're here. This is uh, the start of chapter four, I believe. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, Paimon. <laughs> Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the yeah. clues she left behind to help her. Good memory, Paimon. I guess we may have stumbled upon this place at some point before. Good memory, so Paimon. Much time has already <laughs> passed since then, and it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Uh. Yeah, I I guess I don't know. <laughs> so there's uh, you know, I just I just finished the uh, Sumeru uh, the Sumeru chapter like I was saying, and uh yeah, so that this uh so there's gonna be quite a bit of spoilers or whatnot. Um yeah, <laughs> I skipped from the beginning playing Genshin Impact on like a whole new account, and then I went back to my and now I'm playing it on my main account because I wanted to uh wanted to record. Fontaine because I like it. <laughs> I'm I'm saving. I'm currently saving my primal gems for uh fucking uh the hydro archon. What was her name? Arena or something like that. I don't fucking know. Um, I'm I'm saving my um saving my gems for. It's gonna be a while until she actually comes out. Though. So, yes. But as long as we're around, uh, it's hard to say what will happen. Uh, yes, you're right. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Shut up, Paimon. Maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. Wait. <laughs> I was just thinking that you might be the problem, Paimon. Me? Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into any trouble. At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. Anyway... For Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Yep, next stop, Fontaine. Ah, look who it is. Ready to you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Oh, it's Dia. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Really just wandering around. We're usually taking care of some serious business, even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. Yeah. But never mind that. What brings you here? So just to bring up uh, something, so we found out um, more about the abyss stuff because you know our goal is to find uh, find our sister, and so we found out uh, stuff. So with Nahida, she's like super smart, or something I don't know. Um, with the Na with Nahida, she said that that apparently our sister uh, went has has already been to Tevat. <laughs> And been, been all across Tevat years ago. I think it was like 200 years ago. So that that's that. I don't know. I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. Okay. But, uh, that's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're preparing to leave Sumeru and head to Fontaine. Bro, why this guy uh, why might go you like serious I can't say I saw that coming but you are travelers after all I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place yeah bumping uh, into you like this will become a rarity I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it shut up Dehya. hey how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two what do you say Thanks, but uh, you need that guy in the, the background he was so acting real weird 
Sounds good. Like never? All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. I know no, how to get to Fontaine. Sure I've be already been to Fontaine. <laughs> so, uh, when are you leaving? We'll leave as soon as we're finished. The uh, journey shouldn't be about this one. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Where is that list Paimon made? This this guy, uh, he's from Sumeru. Look at his outfit, bro. He's wearing the Fontaine garments. <laughs> sad enough to see you go like this. Though they, uh, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today the without you. their name. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. By the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? In her case, she'll uh she'll know from our dreams anyway. In her oh, case. So. Good point. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Take Whether care. Whether you're a or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Okay. Take care. Goodbye, Bye, Bye, Sumeru. We're never coming back here. When, after Fontaine, we're probably gonna head to Conria, I think. Just because, um, I feel like, uh, they've been talking about Conria a lot more. Uh, like, the last, like, chapter or whatnot that I just did. Which was, or the last act, which was chapter 3, act 6, I think. Um, we met this guy from Conria. And he was really weird. I didn't like him. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was from Conria. He kept on, he was saying he was from Conria, but whatever. Let's head over. Actually, why, why, why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? I can just, I can just teleport there. I'll just teleport there. Because <laughs> I already explored, uh most of fontaine i'm just missing the waypoint some of these waypoints but i have all the the statues of the sevens and stuff and so far fontaine is really small i am pretty sure it will get bigger though as time progresses but instead of going down the elevator because ele the elevator sucks because it takes forever to go down i'm just gonna jump i'm just gonna jump just gonna jump 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 we're headed down and uh go to uh Rom romari time harbor in fontaine that's where i'm at i think <laughs> where do i go though but uh do we go on that that side i don't know maybe let me check the tiny person okay uh where do i go do i just swim up in there do i just swim in i swim in don't i no I'm here. Oh, there we go. I was like, what? Why was that not working? After crossing all that sand and water, we finally made it! Oh, this must be Fontaine's port! Wow! Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine! Paimon's heard that the industry here is extremely developed, and there are all kinds of unusual machines! Isn't this where rune guards come from? I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I thought I heard that somewhere. But either way, so, I heard. And it's about what I imagine. It's even more impressive than I expected. This one. <laughs> Maybe it would be better if we found something to do. Yep. Beat up the fucking Hydro Archon. Because <laughs> that's what that's probably what we're gonna do. We're just gonna we're just gonna go just, we're gonna throw hands with the Hydro Archon. Cause uh that's what we've done. <laughs> but so far the only Archon we fought though was uh Raiden. But those are the only two like, evil-ish Archons, I guess. I don't know. There was Raiden, and then, uh, fucking Fur Furina is not, it's not that great of a person either. So let's start by meeting the Hydro Archon. Our journey is to find my sibling. She's also pretty cool. I uh, I like her. That's why I'm I'm saving up my gems for her. Cool. The Hydro Archon's uh, so far my favorite Archon. And though I'm not that big of a fan of the Hydro elements. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. 
bro. It was They're talking about a movie they twist, watched. But it's a pity that it never happened. Bro, there's still, movies the here? Quite the tear well, no, nah, it's not movies, actually. It's a theater. <laughs> it's a stage play. Because I uh, I went uh, to a theater excuse here Can I help you uh, trying to get I the the freaking the teleport oh, waypoints and stuff. And I walked into a uh, theater that was there. I'm pretty sure that's what they were talking about. But they saw a play there. busy talking about some kind of play. Yeah. Uh, play? Oh no no no. Or not. We're talking no. about something that really happened. <laughs> so they're that was just heard a few days ago. <laughs> so they're as uh, so they're just actually talking about okay, something that actu actually happened. Okay. Might think he's falling off. And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Yeah. Okay. Or not, simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. How do I know oh, your name, huh? Like your name is Rena? How, how do I know that? You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice <laughs> is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. So they see trials as a sort of opera? Should it quite cases be a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing <laughs> i don't know if it's no next update but i Other think the person who do, uh, puts on the trials or whatnot is is a uh, character that comes out next update but i don't know and as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence we have the absolutely just and honorable chief justice nouvellet as well as the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal a machine created by the <laughs> what the fuck did you just say the machine and the chief justice <laughs> False charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. A judgment device created by the Archon? The Oratrice? Is it some kind of machine too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Hey, Paimon almost forgot to ask you a question. Do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Make an appointment? <laughs> Super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. Damn. <laughs> After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. First cool. time I've ever heard of an Archon <laughs> being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets it now! The Hydro Archon is kinda like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. Perhaps you could even say our mascot. <laughs> your ma <Hang> on. <laughs> mascot? Fontaine's on you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, it's fell out. <laughs> yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. Still on, okay. What are you talking about? Uh, freaking uh, Nouvellet? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here, but nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. <laughs> Seems the people of Fontaine really like the Hydro Archon. I think we get it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. We now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. So here's the story for all the Archons. I'm I'm not really gonna tell the story, but how they're uh, treated, I guess, or they're so everyone in Mondstadt, you know, they like the Animal Archon. But nobody actually know, actually made, well, the Hydro, the Animal Archon has been there, Venti, he's, he's just, he's just hanging around and nobody knows that he's actually the Animal Archon and shit, and then, oh, then we got, uh, Zhongli, who, who's just there, I, I believe everyone thinks he's, uh, dead, right? I, I don't know if they clear, cleared it up, I'm pretty sure everyone just thinks, thinks, uh, the, the Geo Archon's dead, and there's Raiden, who's, uh like a dictator or something i don't know but either way um yeah but who knows how long making an appointment will take i guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime hey what 
are you looking over there for? There's a girl over there. She's been standing alone for quite some time. Hold up. Is it, Le um, freaking, uh, Lynette, right? It's Lynette. Maybe something's the matter. She isn't going to jump into the water, is she? Nah, fam. She's gonna jump into the water. Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Bro, she's gonna go just take a swim, bro. Why are you, why are you freaking out? And that's just gonna take a swim. But you can go underwater in Fontaine, so, yeah. Yo, prelude of, a uh, Bachelor in Norvleth. Okay. Yo, what's poppin'? Lynette. Hello there. Excuse me. Are you alright? Huh? Yo. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. Okay. But Lynette, uh, I, I, I got uh, Lynette because, you know, she's free. And, uh, it was pretty, uh... Wait, are you it was, uh, she's, she's pretty water? good. <laughs> Maybe they're mermaids or fa or a fantastic race of Fontaine, from Fontaine. Though people call the waters around Fontaine a sea, it's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. And though I can okay. still see that hill clearly in my memories, now it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. Oh. Uh, but now, the water okay. <laughs> is gradually swallowing our memories. Cool. Someday Fontaine will be fully submerged in water? Oh, where's all the water coming from? Had the pleasure of meeting <gasps> Lenny? Right. Oh. Is that how you say his name? What? Lenny? I don't know. It's the five-star character. Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood. That's all. There's no need for any concern. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lenny. And yeah, this Lenny. is my sister, Lynette. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Yes. Thank you. Paimon is Paimon. <laughs> this is a traveler. <laughs> Paimon is Paimon. Even though we didn't really get what she was saying. See, it's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. T Damn. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us. Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. Uh, damn, you're breaking the fourth wall or something. I don't know, but we never talk. <laughs> There's hardly anything left for me to say when you're around, Paimon, because you always steal all my lines. <laughs> just listen. <this one. laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you too? Damn. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Yep, no no doubt. Yay. <laughs> oh, what's happening in Fontaine? Where to begin? Hmm. Up. Uh, oh, Let's are you... put that question on hold <laughs> okay. for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? They have a third sibling. So, uh, Lenny uses Hello, a bow, traveler. Lynette uses a sword, and then they have a third sibling that uses a claymore. And I, if I remember correctly, I think he actually comes out next update, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> and hello, Paimon. Oh, hey, Paimon. Where is Paimon getting handshake? <laughs> oh, you're not Paimon, are you? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might oh, prove useful. Well, yes. Well, Paimon's <laughs> just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the opera house to meet the high Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? <sighs> so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the opera house later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Let's follow me. Let's follow Linny. <laughs> because that's 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 what that's just what we do. We are the traveler. But we got Lynette right here. Lynette's pretty good. That's pretty good. See, I just, I need a. How much, what do I need to ascend her again? I need this, which I have to fight this thing, which is underwater. 
or no not this this is not underwater never mind but these things are hard to beat which i'm really mad about they they're they're really hard to beat and, uh and yeah i only have one of the archons so and it would and if i get a uh, freaking um farina i would have two archons and they're both two of my favorite archons i wonder is the conria archon gonna be uh, a guy because so far there's uh only two male archons and then there's uh three female archons um but is the Con is conria's archon the pyro archon is that gonna be a guy or you what said you were going to see lady farina well it seems lady farina has come to see you what what <laughs> why is farina okay <laughs> what's that girl forgot her i don't i don't remember her name I, i've seen her before but farina and farina is also like a sword user so that's pretty poggers <laughs> and i like sword characters so she's a hydro icon how did she know we were looking for her my nah, she's dear come... people uh. rich and poor those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all raise your glasses in celebration if you don't have one <laughs> then just raise your hand and kneel <laughs> oh okay you can all see two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation how Come, did you know that let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion who have journeyed here from distant lands how did you know that who are you farina why is she talking about us <laughs> who else would she be talking about paimon we're the only travelers here and nobody here seems to be holding a glass <laughs> of course nobody's holding a glass <laughs> Where would they get glass from? In your wake, as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Fear oh. is for hey. insignificant <laughs> cowards. I am a god, and I will never uh. entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. First. Seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. Farina's uh, personality is uh, is, is something. Intelligent <laughs> people always <laughs> gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. How you may rejoice in this. <laughs> well, <laughs> finding the art god was easy enough. Yeah, Paimon still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. Yeah, we've only been here for a few minutes. But the Hydra Icon's entrance was a little over the top. How did you know we were coming? <laughs> I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic <laughs> understanding. <laughs> Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent dude freaking for natural we're just over here freaking insulting us <laughs> you had best stop and consider really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god all it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you dude i've already spoken to like three other gods no four other gods so it's, it's, it's not something new oh, to me <laughs> perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough what else should i say then uh is she waiting for us to start talking wow i didn't expect to see lady farina here what a surprise wait does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler oh How okay <laughs> what's all the commotion oh is that lady farina is Dude, there some seriously? Kind of drama oh, going on? Of course. That's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see him. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. The oh, duel of the century. <laughs> I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believer spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy and despite the noise i've come to tolerate all their ruckus <laughs> okay you may consider this my reward to all of you i have determined that there will be an 
epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, as you were hoping to see. Now she wants us to fight? Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? I got a, a fighting gods? I've got a resume. Bruh. What are you guys doing? Bruh. <laughs> Why that guy look at me like that? Are you not afraid? No, I I'm not. You that this is a duel against the divine. Look, I fought many what gods in my lifetime. Do, traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? Stand down, Clorand. I admire his bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. He is obviously a true warrior. Fortunately, <laughs> people nowadays only crave to be thrilled. And a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. Nah, a duel will be Whatever all the much interesting. Are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old, to tell the truth. You see. Then, as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. Oh, what kind? We're gonna have a fucking, like, Danganronpa oh, class right. trial? An hey, ace attorney shit? Bro, what? After all, such a grand opera house, it would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. <laughs> but how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? We literally just arrived. <laughs> oh, we have to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Obvious? Clarence is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine City Limits <laughs> during the first three days of each month. <laughs> you are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? That's what they've done wrong. <laughs> Dude, what the That's fuck? Not Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine. Bro, we're like fucking gonna does. go on trial because of fucking Paimon, dude. You mean Paimon? Yes, Paimon. God damn, Paimon. Uh. <laughs> No objections. Then, in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun, but if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. You tell her, Winnie. Finally, someone who's not crazy. <laughs> How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Paimon, your flying object, okay? Now accept your fate. Lenny, my <laughs> I'll permit you to object. But how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience <laughs> gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Uh, oh, okay. What are you doing? Hmm. <laughs> What's that about? What's that on Paimon's back? Hey, when did you do that? <laughs> when Lenny patted you on the back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um. Okay. What? What? what why? There. What? What? How does you this? Can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. <laughs> this rope has been in the traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. You call that magic? You've got to be joking. Bruh. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. <laughs> Farina's are like, oh, goddamn. You got me had it. <laughs> Nobody gave you permission to laugh, Farina. Amusing. Very amusing, Lenny. Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Okay. Performance? You see all this as a performance? In which yeah, case, consider the matter uh, of your trial resolved. The God of Justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the God. Of other lands. Dude, what? How? I look forward how? to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Okay. Yeah. Farina's weird. <laughs> Farina, Farina's just, just weird. 
Okay. So that happened. <laughs> yes. That's the most unpredictable Archon Paimon ever seen. I never even had a chance to ask her anything. But that's a problem for future Paimon. <laughs> For future Paimon, yes. Did you know uh, that was going to happen? Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't okay. think it would actually come in handy. <laughs> so, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? Yeah. She can be a bit She's an asshole. Times, <laughs> but she is still amenable to reason. Confusing is, is a good way to put it. She really that reasonable? <laughs> anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Lenny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It okay. will be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine, the Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminals trials are held? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. Yeah, okay. To the like, people of Fontaine, what, the, what the Opera House is supposed to be doing? And a performance can be a little blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? Uh, my brother's sure. always excited. Sure. We don't really have anything to do now. And we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. I would be delighted. <laughs> In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? You really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. That's a bag. What are they <laughs> going to use it for? About that. Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let yes. me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born oh, with sin. sin? How the nation of justice cannot be trial absolved. After trial, cool. This sin cannot be absolved. Cool. Until one day. The water uh, that's Farina right there, rise, sitting on a chair. The sinful people will slowly be drowned. Oh, the, the end, kind the of... people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Oh, she's... Only uh. then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That sounds okay. pretty gloomy. Yeah, there yes, it does. <laughs> born with sin. What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. But even the people <laughs> in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed. Wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. Why? <laughs> but now the water is engulfing our memories, uh, it won't be long before it engulfs us. Many places have already been completely submerged, and now yes. lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. That's but why we can go underwater. <laughs> I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, oh. It's like preparing for a rainy day. It's inventory <laughs> space. If the prophecy is true, uh, then is there no way to prevent the disaster? Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. But who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. 
Cool. Distribute magic pockets. Okay. Um. So there's the markers that we uh. Oh, who? Who? So there's someone over here. I no, not you. Oh, oh, it's in the boat. Why are you on the boat, uh, person? I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Well, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that if I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. You can store anything in there, okay? I don't really know what it does, but... Whatever, uh, let's go find other people, which there's someone over the, the both of the other other people are over there on the other side. There's uh, Mr. Guard over there and Mr. Mr. Aiton Nee or whatever his so name is. <laughs> you're the blonde traveler that no, been talking about. I'm the red traveler. <laughs> well, my apologies for not recognizing you earlier. A uh, cool, sure. A magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> oh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. Cool. Let's talk to Mr. Guard now. Mr. Guard, the last person. What's this? So you also believe in the prophecy. Yes, I do. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, I believe in the prophecy, but I also believe in another story. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. Ocean people. <laughs> As time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels. But this sounds like Owen Wilson, bodies. but with like a the raspy voice. It just sounds like Owen Wilson, bro. I get. <laughs> What? It'll be Bro. Oh, I've heard that one before. But people can't live underwater. They'll die. All right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Yeah, okay. I just can't un unhear it. It just sounds like Owen Wilson with a raspy voice. <laughs> we gotta go over there. Talk to Linny. It was popping, Linny. Oh. You already handed out all of the magic pockets. Uh, yes, you only gave me three, yeah, so... So... No yes, kidding. but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Uh, yeah. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. <coughs> I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that yes. would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. I think I have those. I think. I don't know. But we gotta go collect them anyways, so I can't really give them to him. <laughs> so, they are over here. I haven't been in this area of Fontaine. This giant waterfall, okay? No, I don't have these. Hydro? Are you serious? We have to we have to use hydro to collect these flowers? How do I collect them using hydro? Let me get out freaking you? Uh yeah, Elon? I can't remember her name. Okay. And this one. There we go. I got all the flowers. Yeah, I'll get one more for safe measure. Let's talk to Lenny. But let me just uh switch back to Switch back to Ayaka, uh, right here. Tell me Sato Ayaka. Ayaka. Uh, yo, Linny! Linny! I got the flowers. He made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. Yes. I also finished collecting a few <laughs> here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, <laughs> I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. 
Yes. We're going to the court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimo wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Why, why are you guys walking away? <laughs> they just started walking away. <laughs> Wait, shh. I noticed that person over there. The young girl. No. What's wrong with her? Paimo didn't notice anything. She's obviously a thief. Magicians a thief? and thieves practice similar methods. We thief? divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Uh, yeah, she's clearly thieving. It's pretty obvious. How did you not even feel that? <laughs> Keep your voice down. We need to she was way too to close to that man. It seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. Uh, I'm you fast. I go zoom. I can just... I can just jump her. I can just jump her and kick her ass. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, what are we doing now? We gotta go to the top now, right? We gotta go up there. Let's go to the statue of the seven hydro. Hydro seven statue. Let's go over here. This is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. There she is. Oh, What's she doing? Isn't that her? What's she doing right now? Get ready to stop her. <laughs> What okay, direction? There's nowhere to run. There's quite literally nowhere to run up here. <laughs> You're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. Uh, you wait. Uh, but there's no sign of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while. <gasps> I'm wonder if Lenny caught the thief. Seems there's no reason for us to stay here. Let's go find yeah, Lenny. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. But what? Where, where is there to run? There's nowhere to run up here. Look. There's water here, and you'd have to swim all the way over there or take a weird boat thing that you can summon using that. But if she would have ran around here, like, there's nothing over here besides besides the statue of the seven. And then, uh, there was this. So she is Are over you sure here. That's all she you should check to or she's sure not, not over else. here. No, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Are you returning with the thief had stolen? <laughs> That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Lenny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was <laughs> loser. Gone. Twisted your right. ankle, loser. It's just a twisted <laughs> ankle. That's all. If you want to play being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able <sighs> to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. Uh. Slippery little thief. Things turned out all right in the end, though. Yes. All right, <laughs> let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the court of Fontaine now. Let's head to the court of Fontaine. But, uh, that's um, where I'm going to end today's video. Yes. <laughs> so, next video, we're going to hop on the boat, I believe, right? We're going to have to take a boat and travel all across this, all across this entire, this entire thing right here. And it's going to take ages to get over here because the boat goes extremely freaking slow. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video of um, Genshin Impact, and uh, I will uh, I will see you all next time. Peace out and bye bye.